Well, Judith and I worked together at the University of Central Florida. She was fun, she was smart, and she was a consummate professional archivist, and she loved working with students. She always participated with the students. Every year, there's, a, there's something for charity where they all actually go and jump in the pool. She always did that with all of the interns that actually worked here. I like to watch how she worked with students and helped them to understand archival processing and archival theory and practice. So the outreach part of archives, the person-to-person the -person stuff was very, very important to her. And it was something she always actually wanted to do. When Judith passed away in 2010, we all decided to name the scholarship after Judith because she was so wonderful and we wanted to remember her and she was such a fabulous archivist. She passionately believed that it was no good maintaining information for 50 years if you couldn't actually sustain the organization for 50 years as well. And one part of that was that she thought mentoring young archivists was so important and that's why I'm quite sure she would be so proud that the Society of Florida Archivists chose to name their scholarship after her. The scholarship impacted my life because I was able to go to this Society of Florida Archivists conference and uh, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to go if it wasn't for the scholarship. Well, the scholarship provides money to students or new professionals in the archival profession so that they can attend the Society of Florida Archivist uh, meeting. When I received it, I was very, very happy. I called my parents, I told all my colleagues that, hey, I get to go to SFA, this is my first professional conference. So I was very, very excited. Sometimes you can feel kind of alone in archives, maybe you're a lone arranger, and Society of Florida Archivists is a way to uh, help people get to know people in the state. It also rises the boats of all archival practice in Florida by providing fellowship and by providing information and education. I learned a lot from the conference, not just from the material that was presented, but also from just seeing how collaborative the environment is. Everybody, this group is very, very supportive. And as an incoming student, that means quite a lot. And not only has this pushed me for, uh, forward towards my goals, but also it has uh, inspired me to help others in the field, especially fellow students. And I know that's what Judith believed in, and um, it just makes me very honored to be part of this. So really attending the annual meeting is just a great event. It seems so very appropriate that a number of the people that she'd actually mentored were people who had been recognized by this scholarship program, one of them even after she, she passed away. There are a number of things about the work that she did that will live on. I really hope that we can continue to acquire money for the scholarship so there can be more people who come to the annual meeting. I think that's our, our responsibility as professional archivists to contribute in any way we can to um, the new archivists that are coming into the profession. I really recommend that young professionals and students apply for the scholarship because getting to go to SFA, it's a wonderful experience. You wouldn't get anywhere else, really. Uh, not only do you get to learn a lot from the methods and practices, but you also really get to meet a lot of awesome people, and they're very supportive. So I really, really do highly recommend that you apply for the scholarship. This is a way for the state of Florida's history to be preserved by encouraging and developing archival practice through the society. People who are involved, students who are involved with a membership association usually become active in that association and we need those new people, we need the society to go forward.